In today's video, I'm going to show you an attacking 433 that you can download for FM23. The subject of today's plug and play tactic testing video is the Down Trio V3. Let's break this down and show you the positions in the tactic. Starting off at the back, we have a sweeper keeper set to defend. On the left, you have a wing back set to attack. Two ball playing defenders set to defend. And on the right hand side, another wing back set to attack. You then have a defensive midfielder set to support. Two Segundo Volantes, both set to attack. On the left, an inverted winger set to attack. On the right, an inverted winger set to attack. And at the top of the pitch, an advanced forward set to attack. So this tactic is called the Down Trio V3. It's a traditional 4-3-3. Its tactical style is custom control possession. Its mentality is attacking. Its in possession will look like this. Its in transition looks like this. Its out of possession will look like this. So I have downloaded the tactic, I've been putting it through its paces and in today's video I have run four single season sims using Tottenham, Middlesbrough, Inverness Caledonia Thistle and Aberdeen. Let's show you some results. Let's kick the results off in the Premier League and show you how Tottenham Hotspur have got on. We find them sitting second in the Premier League and they have qualified for the Champions League. If we break down their season, they played 38 games, they won 26. Drew 2, lost 10, scored 88, conceded 45. That gives them a 43 goal difference. They finished on 80 points. That left them 9 behind league winners Manchester City, but 4 points ahead of Liverpool who finished in 3rd. If we break down some stats from the Premier League then, they had Harry Kane get 33 goals. He had a 7.72 average rating. Son scored 13 assists. Player of the match awards was 14 for Kane. Bentacore got 13 yellow cards. And Sessignon 15.18 kilometres covered per 90 minutes. We look at the other competitions they played in. They were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Chelsea in the Champions League. They won the FA Cup. Let's see who they beat in the final. They beat Manchester City on penalties after a 1-1 draw in normal time and extra time. And they were knocked out in the third round by Manchester City in the Carabao Cup. Next up, we are looking at the Championship, where we find Middlesbrough in third place, where they have gained promotion via the playoffs. If we break down their league campaign, they played 46, they won 26, they drew 12, lost 8, scored 90, conceded 42, had a goal difference of 48. They finished on 90 points. Now that was four behind QPR who finished in second and they did finish 18 points behind Norwich. As I said though, they did get promoted via the playoffs. If we break down the profile page, we can see that Akpom got 39 goals. He had a 7.72 average rating. Archer getting 7.20. Barlaser got 12 assists. Akpom 13 player of the match awards. Lenahan 15 yellow cards. Uh, we can see that they also beat Watford 6-1 in that playoff final to get promotion to the Premier League. Going to the competitions tab, they were also knocked out in the semi-finals by Tottenham in the FA Cup. And they were knocked out in the fourth round by Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. Next up, we're looking at the Scottish Premiership, where we find Aberdeen in fourth place. They have qualified for the Conference League. Break down their league campaign. They played 38 games. They won 20, drew 9, lost 9, scored 66, conceded 38, had a goal difference of 28. They finished on 69 points. So they were five points behind Hibs, who were above them, but they were miles behind Rangers, who went and won the league. If we go to the profile page for the Cinch Premiership, we find Duck with 20 goals. Ramadani got nine assists. Duck, six player of the match awards. Gorta, 14 clean sheets. Shinny, 16 yellow cards. Ramadani got 13 yellow cards. If we look at the other competitions they played in, they were knocked out in the fifth round by Celtic in the Scottish Cup. They were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Celtic in the Premier Sports Cup. 
Finally, we are in the Scottish Championship. We are looking for Inverness Caledonian Thistle, and they are top of the league, getting promoted to the SPL. They have played 36, won 25, drawn 6, lost 5, scored 81, conceded 34, had a goal difference of 47. They finished on 81 points. That was 17 points clear of Dundee in second place. And they are promoted to the SPL. If we go to the profile page, we see Mackay has got 28 goals. He had a 7.43 average rating. Doran got 17 assists. Henderson 13. Mackay 9 player of the match awards. Henderson 5. We had Ridges with 14 clean sheets. Dayas got 12 yellow cards and Carson got 11. Look at the other competitions that they played in. They were knocked out in the fifth round by Air United in the Scottish Cup. In the Premier Sports Cup, they were knocked out in the second round by Celtic. And they won the SPFL Trust Trophy, beating FC Edinburgh 2-0 in the final. So, this is a tactic that has got Inverness Caledonian Thistle promoted as champions. We have Middlesbrough going up through the playoffs. We have Tottenham winning an FA Cup. And Aberdeen have qualified for the Conference League. If you're still here at this point of the video, firstly a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button to help the channel, I really would appreciate it. Watching the channel grow across the past couple of months has been fantastic. It's all down to people like yourself who come and interact with the channel. Before you go, don't forget there's other things on the channel. There are other tactic testers, there are wonder kids, let's plays, rebuilds, a little bit of something for everybody on the channel. For this one, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video very soon.